to your Sunday. What are we doing for our Wednesday, though? Because right. pasta and chestnut, interesting combination. Yeah, so it's all about texture. So we've got a beautiful, really simple one-pot wonder pasta dish. So, um, you know, Italian dish. We've got red wine. We've got tomatoes in. That's going to mm. be our base. Yeah. We've got these beautiful sausages there. Um, you know, usual suspects. And then we've got these water chestnuts as well. So these are, these are wow. great. And these are going to give us some great texture and crunch on there. It's really wow. good. Try okay. one if you want. You reckon? Okay, yeah, cool. Good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that crunch, you know? Yeah, it's actually, great, yeah. yeah. So just really liven up the pasta dish. You did cook them, though. Uh, they cooked, they're ready no, to go. Like oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Mm, yum. <laughs> Really interesting combination. We're going to suss this out very soon. Looking forward to finding out the full recipe later in the show. Well, it is great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen for a delicious pasta dish today, Mark. And we are using chestnuts, not an option apart from Christmas when you roast them, that people use a lot. But they're underutilised. Mel was saying this before as well. Well, yeah, no, they're definitely un underutilised. And uh, there's obviously two different types. So you've got right. the, um, the classic chestnuts. Yes. Um, you know, from the trees, but well, well, you've got to roast them, you've got to cook them, because we were talking about that before. You thought I poisoned you, didn't Yeah, well, you know, because if they're eating them raw. <laughs> so what, what sort of these chestnuts? So these are water chestnuts. OK. Um, so ideally, you use the, get the other chestnuts for the recipe. But if not, if you can't find them, these are great. So wa water chestnuts. And you can get these in quite a lot of supermarkets now in the freezer. Right. So they, they, they come ready. They're already peeled. They're already there. And as you said before, you know, really refreshing, mm. nice crunch in there. So it's going to give us some nice texture. OK, so we're going to get this Italian pasta underway. So <laughs> uh, what do we need to do right, first? So I've just onions. got some onions. So it's going to chop some onions. And we've got a pot on there. And as I said before, we're gonna, you know, we're going to cook everything in one pot. Nice. So just chop them up. A uh, little bit of oil goes in there, okay. and then we'll sweat the onions down just over a medium heat. So we just want to, you know, we're not looking for any colour now, just get them translucent, get that sort of sweetness out of nice. them, and we'll build up flavours. Nice work. You know, the Koi Boys are here today, and, uh, you know, a few years ago they used to rock a kebab at Surface Paradise late night, but they've got a lot more sophisticated who, now. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I actually did a gig with them recently, and I saw their rider. It was Italian food out the back, champagne. Oh, uh, wow. So De we, yeah. Definitely gone up in the world <laughs> in their surface. So we're looking forward to your uh, Italian pasta today. Oh, that's God, for sure. pressure, pressure's the pressure on, is on. Yeah. Good look after our boys. OK. Right, so a little bit of garlic as well, because you can't have Italian food without um, lots of garlic. Can and you have any food without garlic? Well, no, not really, unless you're allergic to it. <laughs> Garlic and onion, stable to everything good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we've got some fennel seeds as well, so we're just going to pop them in. Okay. And then that's going to cook down with the onions and garlic and give us this really sort of, you know, beautiful sort of aniseed flavour. OK, so we don't want to brown the onions, so we're just no, going to no. make them translucent. Yeah, you, you can cool. see that. You've still got that little bit of a sizzle, but you're controlling that heat of a nice medium heat, and you can sort of see... You know, there's enough oil in there to sort of coat them. What are you doing? I'm just seeing if they're translucent. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> it's actually a good tip to see that. But you can, if you don't want to do that, you can just look at them in the pan. But you, oh. you, you, know, you, you can see them now that, you know, they're softening, they're changing colour, you know. Well, Magic smells is good. happening. Oh, that fennel smells great. OK, cool. No, so we've great. got water right. going for the pasta, right. but we don't and need to worry about that now. Yeah, so now we're going to get some meat in there. So we've got the, we've got the sausages. OK. And as we said this before, this is a great way of doing it. I mean, you could do this with just mince, but this is a great way of, um, you know, getting loads of flavour and, and quick flavour into a pasta dish. All right, so you buy the whole sausage yeah, and then Yeah, buy the whole sausages the meat and just scrape the meat out. And Brilliant. then you've got, you know, you've already got a flavoured mince, you know, so you, you, you're always on the, you're on the front foot already. All right, so that just goes in there. OK, and you've got to break it down as it cooks. Yeah, yep. so I've got, uh, so actually these are Lincolnshire sausages. Well, on the recipe they are, but we couldn't get them, so they're actually Yorkshire sausages. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the uh, neighbour will be very very happy using <laughs> Yorkshire sausages. Oh, nice. Don't ask me what the difference is. I never even knew they existed. <laughs> All these different sausages from different regions. So we're going to put a few in there, but they smell great, don't they? Yeah, they do smell amazing. And, and then you just want to sort of, you know, cook it down and break it up as you go in. I'll know all about sausages in a couple of days, Mark, because the uh, Devro Sausage Awards are on tomorrow night. Oh, wow. Oh, are you judging? Yeah. No, no. I'm oh, just going there to the award them. show. <laughs> I know who's won already. So for a fee. <laughs> OK, I'll let you know too so we can use the best sausages, eh? Brilliant. So we'll have a week of sausage recipes. A week of sausage <laughs> recipes, yeah. that's right. All right, and then we've got some, um, we've got some dried uh, papadelli pasta. So this is a little bit, you know, it's thinner, it's um, fatter. Um, pasta, so it's really nice. It works really well in these sort of recipes. So uh, boiling salted water, that goes in there. So, you know, that's not going to take too long to uh, go. Nice. You know, after about 30 seconds, just, you know, break your pasta up so it's uh, not all clumped together. And then just cook that, drain that. And by the time the pasta's ready, the sauce should be ready. 
and we're straight in, one pot wonder, full of flavour. It's Brilliant. great, simple, easy, do it tonight for our yeah. tea. Yeah, things are smelling good and we'll get the next steps of this pasta sauce recipe very soon. That's after we catch up with Holly. We are finishing off our Italian sausage pasta with chestnut. Uh, and chestnut, I guess, is the hero of this dish because it's quite an unusual, well, I guess, ingredients that you don't see much of. Yeah, so yeah. it's good, Mark. Good. Right, we've got a little bit of rosemary going in there, so just finely chop it. That can go in. Gives you a nice, beautiful uh, flavour. Nice. Right, and then the, so the chestnuts now, so I'm just going to dice them up. I don't want to do them too small because I want that texture in there. Okay, nice. So and Jesse comes in. back straight away giving you a hard time about your pasta. You had a wee laugh before when you said this is thin and fat I know, pasta. I don't, know, I, I don't know about you, but I didn't miss them. <laughs> One bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who makes a bit of coffee, Sam, Sam or Jesse? And I know that we've had so much coriander on the show in the last uh, two oh, months. I have know. We? <laughs> oh, it's been great. Yes, welcome back, Jesse. Okay, cool. So this is. Am I, have I got this up too high? Is it going to run? No, no. So it's good now. So, okay, so cool. we've got. We've extracted all the flavour from those ingredients. We've broken up the sausage. Um, now the chestnut nuts. goes in there now. So that's going to give us a nice crunch. Now you can whack the heat up. Oh, okay. Now we're going to get our liquids in, and yeah. you can't have a good pasta dish without a nice glass of red wine. Nice work. That goes in there. So high heat. It will deglaze the pan. You know, you bring it up to the boil. We can juice it down a bit to concentrate those flavours. But you know, all the alcohol's gone now. And you're just going to left this beautiful. Sort of like mm. it's going to cut through the richness of the uh, tomatoes, and then oh, we've got to different too, doesn't it? Canned and the good thing is, too, that, um, that wine lifts off all those little bits of flavour that are stuck on That's the bottom. That's called deglazing. De okay, there you go. Yeah, I've learned something after listening. three and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, tomatoes, yeah, so yep. can of tomatoes goes in there. So, just you're just cooking it now, getting all those flavours marrying together. Um, Obviously, if you, you know, you use the full recipe, bring it up to the boil and just simmer it down and then, you know, probably take about 20 minutes to reduce down to a nice consistency, but you're just going to get all that flavour in there. It smells great. You know, we, we've got our pasta here, so that's, that's not too far off. You don't want to overcook it, keep it al dente. All right, so that's nearly ready to go. Once we're on consistency there, we're just going to give it a taste now. OK, you give it a taste. I've got a question about your pasta too, once you've tasted this. Check it, Chef. Does it need any seasoning? Yep. A bit, of salt, a bit of salt yeah. and pepper. Okay, cool. Just go easy on the salt as well because remember the seasoning already in the um, sausage, so just a little bit in just to tweak it. Plenty of pepper though, that's great. How would you describe the um, flavour of a chestnut to those that have never had a chestnut before? Depends which chestnut. Okay, say uh, the ones that we're using. A little bit radishy, weren't they? Slight no. <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> It's it's uh, no I, I can see that yeah no it's it's very crunchy it's very refreshing it's almost like um, a bit like a cucumber when you bite into it or an apple when you ah, bite into nice. it you know you've got all that sort of you know liquid inside without tasting of a cucumber or an apple so <laughs> okay so not really a good description well no maybe like a macadamia nut but not so strong yeah, but really, in flavour like really refreshing yeah it is really refreshing you're right. And then the, the other ones off the trees, what you roast, you know, beautiful sort of almost creamy, you know, sort of um, nice roasted flavour and sort of creaminess and, and rich flavour. There's a little bit of pasta water going in there just to get consistency. Nice. Give it a toss around, you know, so all the pasta's coated. We're going to finish it with a bit of parmesan and some chopped uh, parsley. And look how fast that was. OK, and fatter, thinner pasta, what do you mean by that? It's just fatter... <laughs> That way and thin. fatter and thinner that way. Does it grab more flavour <laughs> for this particular yeah, dish? Yeah, I mean you can use whichever pasta you want, but the, but these kinds of dishes, you know, the pappardelle works really well. Nice work. Well, everything's working well here, and it's smelling delicious as well. The full recipe is on our website. Make sure you check it out. And whilst you're there, make sure you enter to be in to win a luxury trip to New Caledonia. <laughs> that looks really good. Look at that. Nice Beautiful. work. Beautiful.